Are you an active stock trader looking to increase your win percentage? Well, then I have the study for you. Gone are the days of you wondering where you should buy stocks. You turn on this cloud study here within your Thinkorswim application, and you will have an idea of where the best buy opportunities always lie on any ticker on any time frame. The idea for this study was really simple. We all understand that we want to be actively trading strong stocks. However, you never want to be the guy buying the top. Also, you never want to be the guy chasing the falling knife, trying to buy dips on the backside of the move. No, where you want to be buying are these kind of dips happening on strong stock. So the question is, how do I build a study that quantifies this idea? Thus, the average cloud study was created. It's called the average cloud study because the only study that I'm taking advantage of in order to build this custom one is the simple moving average. Of course, if you don't know what that study measures, it is very basic. All it's measuring is the average closing price over the last X number of bars. Of course, for this study, we are using two simple moving averages of differing lengths. The first and larger one being the 200 length simple moving average and the second and faster moving one being the 50 length simple moving average average when the 50 length is above the 200 length you get this green cloud when the 50 length is less than the 200 length you get this red cloud obviously green cloud meaning that the stock is bullish and currently moving up and bearish on the red cloud the stock is moving down that's very very simple what we then do is as you can see actually my drawings i made even without seeing the study worked pretty much perfectly what you can see here is that when the cloud is green, when the 50 is above the 200, and then the stock price comes back below the 50, the stock price enters into this green cloud. That is your accumulation zone. Think of this basically as supply and demand zones, but that are always live updating and moving with the price of the chart. So here is your supply zone on a bullish stock. This is a good area to look for entrances on the stock. Outside of this zone, the stock is too stretched to the upside. You are chasing highs. Below this zone, the stock is too bearish, especially once the cloud turns red. The stock is too bearish and you just shouldn't be looking for longs on a downtrending stock like this. This is the Netflix daily chart over the last two years. Netflix, of course, has been an extremely strong name, but... When is the right time to buy? Where is the supply zone that is ripe for accumulation? Well, of course, with this study turned on, you know exactly where it is inside of the green cloud. You can be buying here. You can be buying here. You can be buying any of this chop happening in this zone here. All of them would have ended up being very good places to accumulate this name. One more example before we hop into the parameters of this study itself. This, of course, being the NVIDIA daily chart. Great accumulation, great accumulation, great accumulation. And then all of this move here, so kind of this whole drawdown here, are not opportunities that you should be looking to buy the stock. Now, people are going to look at this and be like, well, Trey, why didn't you buy here? I mean, the stock got down to 100 and then it's already bounced up to 100. And by the way, NVIDIA is up two and a half percent today, back to all time highs. That's good. I do own NVIDIA. But anyway, off that tangent, this like, yes, in hindsight looks like a good buy, but you have to remember the topic of conversation we're having here, right? We're talking about active trading. This is a different conversation than investing. Investing being that you're going to hold the stock for a minimum of 12 months, hopefully for even way longer than that. That case, yes, maybe you should just be looking to buy the deepest blood you can find on strong names. But for active trading, for either swing trading or day trading, if you were buying this dip, say you bought the NVIDIA dip here at $115 a share, there is no strategy in the world that would have kept you in this trade down to $85 a share before the bounce, right? In active trading, you need to be taking advantage of short-term setups. And a study like this helps once again paint to you when the short-term setup has a higher likelihood of continuing in the upwards direction. Now, as per all of my published studies, I have made this one fully customizable as the use case for it will be 
slightly different for probably every single one of you that will import this code. It's going to depend on your risk tolerance. It's going to depend on the types of stocks you trade, the time frame you trade, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll show you how to do that. Come into your edit studies. Of course, the average cloud is the study turned on. If I come into the settings cog on this study, you can see I have input parameters for the short average and the long average. As I told you by default, those are set to 50 length SMAs and 200 length SMAs. But instead you could go like 20 and 100 instead of 50 and 200. And you'll see as I apply that, you'll see how of course it automatically updates on the chart. This is once again going to be how you Maybe if you're going to trade something a little bit more volatile, I don't know what's a really volatile name right now um, off the top of my head. I think GitLab was going crazy not too long ago. GitLab is a little bit choppier. Yeah, for a stock like this, maybe you use some shorter averages quicker to get in on these dips, quicker to stop buying these dips when these kind of moves happen. And also, let's actually hop back to NVIDIA. Also, if I were to come down into a, say, intraday time frame, let's go look at the five minute chart rather than the daily chart. Now, of course, using a shorter average on an intraday time frame, you can see sort of how that helps you work with building the supply zone outs on a faster moving name. Now we're only halfway done with this video because I also want to build a scanner step by step with you to help you find the kind of stocks currently trading in the green zone because it doesn't matter how good your accumulation strategy is if you can't find the right types of stocks. But since I just mentioned this code being published, I just want to make you aware of where I publish all of my codes. They are on my website daytradingstrategies.net here you will find this average cloud study you will find the scanners we're about to build and you will find over 150 other custom coded studies scanners even trading strategies etc published for thinkorswim towards the end of this video we'll come back and talk more about how this website works how you easily you can import the codes also i just wanted to make you aware of daytradingstrategies.net there will be a link in the description down below this video if you want to go click that now it'll open it up in a new tab so you can sort of check it out maybe after the video now let's hop on into the scan tab and let's build a scanner that only returns to us stocks currently trading inside of this average cloud supply zone so for starters i have two stock filters turned on that i turn on almost every single one of my scanners just to kind of keep the riffraff out First off, the closing price must be greater than a dollar. I just don't want to see any penny stocks and the volume on the day must be greater than a million shares traded. I am not interested at all in trying to trade light volume crap. Anyway, now the meat and potatoes of this scanner, we're going to come to add filter in the top right this time, rather than of the stock type, we are going to add one of the study type. I'm going to come into the pencil icon here and actually today we'll use this condition wizard rather than writing out the code just because I think it'll be a little bit easier to understand maybe for those of you out there that haven't taken computer science classes. Anyway, we'll hop into edit here and we'll get to work. I'm also going to zoom in a little bit here for you so you can see it a little bit easier. Anyway, the way this edit condition modal works is you have left side condition in the middle, you have a comparison operator, and then you have right side condition. So remember we have two conditions for entrance. First off, our cloud needs to be green. Second off, the current price of the stock must be inside the cloud. So let's build out those two conditions. Remember our cloud being green is that our faster length, simple moving average must be greater than our slower length, simple moving average. Easy enough. So I'm going to click on this top draw down here. Simple moving averages are studies. So come into the study and we will look up, of course, simple moving average average now obviously you will set these lengths to whatever you found works best for you when messing with the input parameters of the cloud i'm going to go back to my original and default 50 and 200 length so our shorter length simple moving average with the length set equal to 50 is greater than and on our right side condition we'll once again look up the simple moving average study and it's going to be greater than the simple moving average with a length equal to 200. It's that easy to go ahead and get set up our condition that we do have a green cloud. Remember now there is also a second 
condition. So I'm going to come down to this add condition button in the bottom left. And let me see if I can go ahead and get this zoom so that it's not all behind my head and off the screen. Anyway, now the current price must be inside the green cloud. So the close of the stock close in thinkorswim also represents the current price of the ticker. So the close of the stock must be less than our faster length simple moving average. The faster length simple moving average is above the slower length and the price is below that faster length. So anyway, this time we will look up a condition again, but rather than study, we're going to go with price and we want to use close. Once again, represents the current price of the ticker. This must be less than our study simple moving average length of 50 or once again, obviously, whatever your faster length simple moving average is set to. My zoom is all out of whack, sorry. Simple moving average length of 50. So go ahead and save this. By the way, on both of these, you can change the time aggregation of this study filter. So if you want to use this supply zone, say on the five minute rather than the daily, you would simply change that there. I'm going to leave it on the daily. We're going to pretend that we're using this for swing trading purposes. I just wanted to make you aware of that. So I just went ahead and ran this scan and the top stock on the list is Webull, B-U-L-L. -L. So if we go over and we pull up Webull, will he indeed see that? Oh, oh, you know, actually there is a condition that we forgot in our setup there. Yes, of course, the stock must be below the faster moving average, but obviously it must also be above the slower length moving average. It needs to be inside the cloud, not just below the faster moving average. So actually we need to come back into our study filter here. We need to add one more condition. Let's say also that the closing price is greater than the 200 length simple moving average. We need to actually put it inside of the cloud, not just down below the faster length moving average. So now let's run this scanner and hopefully I built that correctly. I kind of I kind of love building scanners like this because you get live real-time feedback on like, hey, what did you screw up? Oh, I screwed this up. Let's go fix it, right? Okay, so if I was like a good YouTuber, I would cut that whole last clip and build it right. But I like watching you guys watch me I'll work through things live sometimes. Anyway, now the first stock on the list is Ford. So we go ahead and load up Ford. We can indeed see this is a stock that is currently trading inside of its supply zone. It's bullish supply zone. And look at actually how well this is done. Last time it touched here, nice bounce. Touched again, bounce, touched again, really nice bounce. And it's touching now again for the fourth time. Now, does this mean that, oh, because it's in Trey's cloud study, it's definitely going to bounce? Guys, no, obviously, of course not. I say this in every single video I make, and I probably will for every single video in the future on this channel. There is no such thing and there never will be a such thing as a guarantee in the stock market. All I can do is provide to you codes like this that help to increase your chances of profitability. Obviously, this does not guarantee profit. Well, Trey, I bought when it was inside the green cloud and it still dipped. Yeah, no shit. Guys, that's going to happen sometimes. But the idea is if I can give you something that helps increase your win percentage, even by 10%, that's going to make you a much better trader. So just wanted to get that off my chest quickly too. But as you can see here, the scanner now seems to be working as expected, returning to us stocks that are trading inside of their cloud. Let's actually go look down at the next one, which is also Amazon. We can see here Amazon is currently trading inside of its bullish supply zone cloud as well, which as you can see, one nice bounce, two nice bounce, three nice bounce, four nice bounce, five nice bounce. So five times in a row here has it re-entered this cloud and given you a pretty nice bounce out of the top side. Once again, does that mean it's going to happen here? No, but that's a really good example of the study working. So if you're interested in this automated supply and demand zone think or swim study, it is available once again alongside over 150 other custom think or swim codes over on my website, daytradingstrategies.net. Right now, I'm even running a limited time discount. I only made 10 codes available. Four have already been used. So the next six of you to sign up using discount code 30 will be able to take 30% off. I am always, every single week, I add or update new codes to this website. Therefore, I do have my service set up as a subscription model. You can either sign up for the monthly. Even if you sign up for the monthly, you get access to 
all 150 plus codes right away. It's not like you get anything extra with the annual. Annual obviously just gets you 12 months of access to everything new. I will add, obviously, the annual plan will save you a little bit of money over those 12 months and the annual plan and the annual plan only gets you lifetime access to the daytradingstrategies.net Discord server. This Discord server currently consists of eight, wow, 819 members. That's a lot of people that have signed up for the annual plan. That's a lot of eyes on the market. People in here are always talking about what's moving, the trades that they're taking, the trade setups they like, even the codes that they're using. Because remember, every single person in this Discord is using the same codes that you'll have access to. So it's a great place to sort of be in conversation with that sort of thing as well. I'm in here every single morning, at least during pre-markets. I'm in here, so it's a great way to be in contact with me as well. Anyway, if you're interested in this, it comes at no additional cost. Lifetime access to it comes to no additional cost when you sign up for the annual plan on daytradingstrategies.net. I'm so confident that once you begin to experience the power of custom coding within Thinkorswim, you're gonna have no choice but to sign up to the website that I've even made a handful of my codes completely free. No credit card required, you don't have to make an account, nothing like that. Just go to daytradingstrategies.net, click on the explore free codes and you'll get access to these. I'm actually gonna showcase how easy it is to import, open and save the codes into your Thinkorswim now using one of these free ones. So every single code on the website comes with one of these unique TOS share links. All that you need to do, copy this URL back within your Thinkorswim application. You're going to go to setup in the top right corner, open shared item, paste that URL, preview and import. Just like that in three mouse clicks and in five seconds, you can have any and all of the 150 plus codes from my website imported locally into your Thinkorswim. Locally, once you import these codes, guys, they're, they're yours. They are now your codes. They're saved to your Thinkorswim account. Even if you unsubscribe from my platform, that's perfectly fine. You're not gonna lose the codes or anything like that. They'll be saved to your Thinkorswim account for as long as it exists. And you can even click on this little scroll icon here and you also have read and edit access to the source code itself. But once you import them, you open the studies just like you would, you open the strategies just like you would, you load in the scanners just like you would any other. And it's that easy to get my codes imported, saved and running on your Thinkorswim charts. So head on over to daytradingstrategies.net linked in the description down below. Remember the next six of you that sign up using discount code 30 at checkout will take 30% off. That is 12 months of access. That's a long time guys to every new code. I will add to this website as well as lifetime access to the discord for less than $280. Maybe while you're on the website, click and read the reviews, help decide for yourself. If this is something that could help accelerate your personal trading journey, sign up today and become a better trader immediately.